You wanted the best, you've got the best, KISS! Okay, KISS might not have been the best hard rock band ever. Leave that to Led Zeppelin, of course, which we are gonna have to tackle in an upcoming video. But KISS was definitely the gateway to hard rock and music in general for a whole generation of musicians that became uh, the 80s. and part of the 90s metal as well. So KISS uh, started out in the 70s and they had a unique sound, a sound that drew heavily on the martial infused sound of glam rock uh, on the British side, but brought a harder edge to it and a slightly stiffer feel to it. In this Blue Cat Axiom video, we're gonna try and get as close as possible to the sound of Detroit Rock City, their mega hit, using only the plugin Axiom and its uh, hundreds of virtual amps and effects. First off is Paul Stanley's sound. I'm using a Bolton Explorer with a Powertron TV Jones on the bridge. His sound is the sharpest of the two and a little less distorted than Ace Freely's sound. Um, he's on the left side of the uh, stereo image on the original recording so you can clearly make out who plays what. For the Paul Stanley sound I'm gonna use the Brit Clean 4x12 so a clean Marshall which we're gonna dirty up with the drive at 6.9. Bass will be minus 6 because back then recordings uh, didn't have too much bass, especially on the guitars, uh, to leave room for the bass drum. And uh, mid will be plus three, so a slight mid hump, treble plus zero, and tone point 28, so a slightly less open than it was before. And I'm gonna use a slight plate reverb to add some ambience. So I'm gonna use the factory presets vintage plate one and bring the wets down to 40%, which is already a lot. <laughs> Now we're moving on to S. Freely's rhythm sound. He comes in uh, slightly after Paul Stanley's and harmonizes uh, the opening riff. After that, uh, you can uh, clearly see the two sounds blend really well together, Freely's being a little creamier than uh, Paul Stanley's and uh, of course relying heavily on the uh, almighty Les Paul, which Ace Freely uh, really helped uh, popularize. For the Ace Freely sound, I'm gonna use the Green Breed presets, uh, which sounds a little, um, uh, which sounds a little warmer than the uh, Clean Breed. Drive will be at six, bass, plus six, otherwise it's uh, really trebly and we're looking for a warmer sound. Mid plus two and treble plus 1.6. Tone will be brought up to uh, 0.40 uh, for it to be uh, still a little harsh. And I'm keeping that same plate reverb as on the other presets. Mm -hmm.
For that third sound, we're going to tackle Ace Freely's solo sound. Uh, this is, of course, going to be slightly more distorted. And if you hear really closely on the original sound, which, of course, now we can do thanks to isolated tracks being widely available, you can hear the octave up slightly coming through. I don't know if it's another guitar or if it's just an effect that was added after the fact, but we're going to try and get as close to that as we can. And, of course, uh, heavy reverb since the guitar is the only instrument that accompanies the drums. No uh, rhythm guitar and no bass, no keyboards, none whatsoever. So the guitar has to feel a lot of space, which the reverb is going to help us with. For the solo sound, uh, I'm still keeping the Green Bridge since it's the same player and probably the same gear, but uh, pushed a little harder. So drive will be 7.8, bass plus 3 for it not to be too uh, overbearing in the mix. Mid plus five, so it's gonna cut through better. Treble plus one and tone 0.37. And I'm just gonna make the reverb a little more present by bringing it up to 50%. And then that's when the real uh, magic comes in with the uh, harmonizer, which is uh, which I'm going to use on the input. So uh, FX harmonizer, voice one plus octave, so um, the uh, octave up, level 13% for it not to be too loud. And I'm going to add the second voice, uni, so uh, unison, and level 30%. Uh, so it's going to be a doubling effect, as if two guitars were playing together to uh, make it more present. Finally, here is the complete song featuring the three sounds we've just heard.